This is Dr. David Chow. Let's talk Makai Becton Jets first round recent draft pick. We're at Sports Injury Central at Pro Football Doc. The Jets left tackle moved to right tackle, partly because of right knee injuries. Last season, he had a right knee dislocated kneecap with loose bodies. The medial retinaculum or the medial patellofemoral ligament was not fixed last year. He had an MCL sprain and some chips underneath the kneecap as a result of it, quote, popping out of the groove. Because of this issue, and yes, he had a shoulder issue as well, part of the reason he was moved to right tackle, not only due to personnel, was to make his inside leg the healthy leg where he can push off and twist making his left knee the inside leg at right tackle. Even with that move at Sports Injury Central preseason, we had him at a relatively low six score of 72 out of 100, meaning we anticipated problems this year. And then it happened. Second week of training camp, injured his kneecap. You can see the big brace that he has on, and he still injured the kneecap, popping it out of the groove. You can see him limping in limited video before the fateful play where we feel like the kneecap shifts. This is not an ACL tear. Early reports from the Jets and head coach Robert Sala was minor injury, the knee is stable. No question the ACL is stable, no major ligaments, but the worry is still for the kneecap medial patellofemoral ligament. The Jets said this injury had nothing to do with his previous knee injury, but a report from Aaron Wilson indicated a uh, fractured chip, small fractured chip, and uh, also an issue with the kneecap. Once again, the kneecap popped out of the groove, and then as it does so, there is the chip fracture. At this point, the news is not great. With the big brace on this early in the season, switch of positions, and he injured it again. Factoring into this, of course, is his heavy weight now, and also the ways his knees are built, valgus knees or knock kneed, which are more likely to have this type of problem. This is a related injury to last season's kneecap dislocation, although it is a new occurrence. Unfortunately, what we hope to hear, well, we don't hope to hear, we expect to hear coming forward is that his season is now over. Not because of the chip, you can scope scope it, you can remove the chip. It's probably too small to fix with a screw, but it's gonna happen again at this point in time. You can't keep tempting fate and causing more damage to the undersurface of his kneecap. Thus, what will end this season is an MPFL, medial patellofemoral ligament reconstruction and or osteotomy to realign his kneecap. That takes a good six plus months recovery. At this point in time, I think it's pretty clear that we expect to hear that his season will be over. Yes, he will have some permanent damage to the undersurface of his kneecap, but realigning his kneecap will actually tend to prolong or actually allow him to have a career. His career is not over. Certainly the gleam and shine of a top first round draft pick is gone having shifted from left to right tackle and now two consecutive seasons of injuries. Yes, he will have some arthritis underneath the kneecap, but that does not mean his career is over. But certainly we expect his season to be over. Go to Sports Injury Central, where we have a team of NFL, Major League Baseball, NBA, and college docs. There's even college coverage there for this coming season, and it's all free. Thanks for watching.